Hey everybody, TGIF, it's Friday. It's our first Facebook Friday of 2020 and I have so much stuff to show you and to tell you. I have been so excited to get back on track. I took two weeks off and it was wonderful. We had a wonderful holiday, but I am a creature of habit and I am very ready to get back into our regular routine. So, I actually had a hard time narrowing down what I even wanted to make today because I've made so many cute things um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, even though you didn't see me for two weeks, I was still working here and there between holiday things. I was um, cleaning out all the Christmas things and pulling out all the new spring uh, catalog and celebration catalog pro products so that I could get some samples made for you guys and some projects. So. It is time and we are finally here and I am so excited. All right, I'm gonna share this over, make sure I'm in the right place. Um, where am I? Hold on, what am I doing? Let's see, we wanna share <clears throat> to a page and I think we did it. All right, let's open it. Hopefully I don't hear myself. I've been using my iPad to read during the holiday. I actually can read on the treadmill. <laughs> I usually listen to audiobooks, but I haven't found anything good that I like lately. I don't know if you guys have any good audiobook suggestions, let me know. I usually go through about a book a week. I listen to a lot of books, but um, there was a book that I wanted to read, didn't have the audio, so I've been reading it. And on the, on the treadmill, if you put your iPad up, and you make the print big enough you can read while you're exercising. <laughs> My husband says I'm crazy, but it works. And it actually makes me forget that I'm exercising. So anyway, I had to go find it. It was on the treadmill. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the camera over pretty quickly. I see you guys all jumping on. Hello, hello everybody, happy new year. Thank you so much for joining me. I know that you guys are probably excited to see new stuff too. I always joke that the last month of a catalog, it, I say the catalog is dead to me because I'm tired of it and I get so excited and we have new fresh products to play with. I do this full time. I stamp every day, um, about eight to five plus. Um, and so th this is my job and as you can imagine, you know, new products is fun um, when you do it all day. But um, the holiday catalog is gone, goodbye. We'll see some of it next year, but now we're ready for new stuff. So we're going to make three, three projects and I kind of gave you some sneak peeks. Um, like I said, I couldn't narrow it down, so I decided to do a hodgepodge. I picked three of my favorite things that I've made over the last couple of weeks, and we're just gonna kind of dive into both of the um, catalogs, and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things. So we're gonna use um, three different celebration items on this card, the cute little meerkats, very cute. I didn't know how to spell meerkat, now I do. <laughs> just letting you know, it's not how you think. So there's the meerkats, and there's also an embossing folder there from Celebration, and then the little Valentine um, box. So those are the three things we're gonna make, but I have to go through everything here on my desk before we start because I have lots of things to tell you, okay? So I'm gonna flip you guys over, and let's see, I'm gonna move this. I have this big, um, what do you call it, like ortho, no, is it ortho, you know those mats that when you stand on there cushy, I have one right here. But when I am doing Facebook Live, I feel like I'm too high, so I always move it, but it's in the way. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna flip you guys over. <laughs> I hope that you had a great holiday. Um, you know, my um, parents have just moved to San Antonio. They've been gone over 20 years, and they are back, and it was so fun. My brother and his family came, um, and so we had Christmas at Grandma's, which I don't think we ever have done. I'm sorry, guys, I have to, I have to mess with this camera for a sec. Hold on. Whoa, there we go. Did you see my cute red shoes? Um, so it was good. It was so fun. My mom loved it. Um, usually she travels to one of our houses um, for Christmas, but this year she hosted it, and we all loved it. So it was great. And we um, got Grandma a puppy for the Christmas. That was her Christmas present. We got her a corgi puppy. And if any of you out there have a corgi, you can chime in. She is hilarious. She's super smart and she is stubborn and headstrong and crazy. So we have been doing, after Christmas, we've been all about the puppy at Jamma's house. So, okay, so that was my break. Um, let's talk about what's happening now. Hello from Lubbock. Hi, Susan. That's where my sister-in-law is from. Um, Susan, I was just talking about my brother's family. She's from Lubbock. They both went to Texas Tech. Okay, so now, 
let's talk about the catalogs in case you're new. Okay, let's do a little rundown. Um, right now, this is the catalog that just started. Of course, we have the annual catalog that goes all year and that's still current, but this just went live today and it's gorgeous. And it, you'll notice that it is much bigger <clears throat> than um, other what we used, used to call mini catalogs, the two um, seasonal catalogs. One comes out in fall for the holidays, and then this one we used to call it occasions catalog. So now it's called the spring 2020, or they're calling it January to June 2020 mini catalog. That's too much for me, so I'm calling it the 2020 spring catalog. The reason why they're not calling it spring catalog is because some of our Stampin' Up! friends are over on the other side of the earth in Australia where it's not spring. So they're just saying it's the January to June. But here in the United States, we're calling it um, the spring catalog. One thing they told us at, a, um, at on stage, which I found really interesting, was that this catalog is designed for your avid stamper. Those of us who love to stamp and we love products, um, we love tools, we love paper, um, this is designed for us. So you'll notice the cards in here are more layered. They're not simple stamping cards. Simple stamping will be found in the simple stamping brochure. We have a brochure I don't think I've ever even shown you. Um, that's for brand new stampers. Of course, it's interchangeable. Doesn't mean you can't buy from here if you're not a, a beginner stamper. Um, but that, so you'll just notice that they designed this catalog with those of us who are avid stampers. We love to craft and we love to stamp. Um, so a few things I want to show you. Of course, the, the, it's, it used to be like this, but now it's like this. And I really like it. I, I don't have a problem with it. I love that it's different. I love the bright, bold, um, I just, I love the whole feel of it. Um, this is my style of, of catalog, my style of stamps. I just think everything in here is beautiful. I'm not gonna go page by page, but I'm gonna point a couple of things out to you. At the beginning is the bundle index, okay? So, you know, you can buy the stamp set by itself and you can buy the punches by itself, but when you buy them together, you save 10%. Um, and there's a separate item number for that. Um, so those, they have those right up at the front for us to, to uh, refer to quickly. Also, I want you to notice that this not only is a catalog, but it's an idea book, which means it gives you lots of samples. So for example, the From My Heart Suite, here's lots of samples, right? Lots of samples. And when you turn the page, there's even more. But up here in the guide, there's even more samples. There's not a repetition. You're going to find different samples up here. So if you like to case, and sometimes you just need a fast idea, pull out your catalog and find the stamp you're using and case just straight from the catalog, okay? Really, really great ideas. So then when you're looking through here, you'll see it's a, there's we have suites, everything coordinates, and they're showing you right here. Here's the bundle, that's where you save 10%, okay? There's the paper, the ribbon, the embellishments, all of that. This is new, these little um, swatches of color, I love that, so you can quickly say, okay, these are the inks I need, these are the card stocks I need if I order that. Um, and then if you turn the page, let's say you don't want the stamp set, you just want the punches. There's the separate item number for the punch and the separate number for the stamp, for example. Um, people like me sometimes order um, two uh, the the dies, so like um, the Parisian bundle right here. I have ordered two sets of those dies because when I prep for classes and stuff, and I cut ahead of time, I would order another set. So I would pay, I would buy the bundle so that I have the stamp, and then order a second set of dies so I can cut two Eiffel towers at once. But that's that's just me. Um. So anyways, that let's see. I'm gonna I'm not gonna go page by page with you because you, um. We, I don't have time for that today, but I want to tell you that I've done, I've put all the kits together and I will share that with you maybe next week. They're really good and I'm not a kit person. This is a stamp set we're using today. Um, it goes with the kit, but today we're just using it with a card because it's fabulous. Um, then when you turn back here um, to page 62, they've got even more ideas for you. Interchanging things, um, giving you more ideas. And then look how bold the colors are. I just love it. Um, so, you know, make sure you're like using sticky notes to mark your catalogs. You know, if you, you know, you can't pin it on to Pinterest, um, but you can come over here and post it, note it and say, I want to copy that sometime. And I thought this was a really cool spread. They've taken one card and then they've done three different, like different things that aren't cards, home decor pieces, 3D items, um, kind of casing that, which I thought was brilliant. 
And then this is, oh, well, let me point this out. Here are some carryover items from the holiday catalog that are still available online, okay? And I believe there's more than what's just listed here. So don't forget that we did have a few things that carried over that won't be in a current catalog. This is brilliant right here. This is um, an index and it's a photo index. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh yeah, that's weird. That's not gonna help me. But let me tell you, every time I come back here to look for a stamp set, immediately I see it and I know what page number it's on. So I was wrong. It's awesome and it does work. It looks like it's not going to, but you know, like, oh, where's a raccoon set? You're gonna see it immediately instead of having to, to flip through. And then back here too, if you need to quick order something like another pack of paper, instead of having to flip through, you can come back to the index and find the paper that you want and the item number and boom, you're done. So really smart. Uh, whoever's designing the Stampin' Up! catalog is super smart. And then of course, we've got a host set right there. Gorgeous. I just ordered it today. Okay, so that's the new catalog. So that goes through, um, well, I better tell you the right. I think it's June 3rd. Second, oh, I almost told you wrong. So this catalog goes all the way to June 2nd. Then there's Celebration, and Celebration begins today and goes through March 31st. And Celebration, if you translate Celebration, it means free stuff. <laughs> for every $50 you spend, you get something for free from this catalog. Now, that there's a caveat to that. There are some things that are free with $50 order and some things that are free with a $100 order. So you kind of have to pay attention to what you're looking at. This one right here, the Gangs All Mirror, um, it is free with a $50 purchase. We're using this this today, super cute. Um, this we're using also, Lovely Lily Pad is free with a 50. If you want the coordinating dies, they're free with a 100. So you might have to spread that out over a couple months depending on what your budget is. Um, get the stamp set one month, get the dies the next month, you know, however you wanna do it, or if you're like me, you buy them all at the same time. <laughs> Cause budget smudge it. Anyways, there's also this gorgeous paper that coordinates with it, which is free with a $50 purchase. We're gonna use that a ton. Um, so it's my colors, I love it. It's bright, it's bold, it's fabulous, love it. There's also these little sequins and twine, which is great. Um, we've got this set, which I have not touched yet, but I plan on using that this weekend. We've got a kit. Those are all free with a $50 purchase. This is probably my favorite thing in the whole catalog, this Golden Honey Specialty Design Designer Series paper. You probably saw the catalogs that I had made um, with, this with this paper. Fantastic paper. I love black and white paper. And with a little um, hints of gold in it, it's gorgeous. So that's free with a $50 purchase, $50 purchase um, with this sentiment stamp set. This one's free with 50. Then we've got a new punch that's free with 100. This one can might confuse you because we've got this Power of Hope stamp set, which is beautiful. And I also am gonna really plan on using that this weekend. And then this awesome embossing folder. And they come as a bundle. So you get them both together with a $100 purchase, okay? You can't just get the folder or just get the stamp set. They come as a bundle free with a $100 purchase. <coughs> and the um, bundle is called the Stone 3D Embossing Folder. We're gonna use that today too. Last but not least, back here. If you host a workshop or your order goes over $350, I think, I no, 300. See, I keep getting that wrong. The first time we went through this, you guys, I said 150 and I was wrong. It's $300, a free with a $300 order. You get this adorable stamp set. And I've made two cards with it. Look how cute this little um, ladybug is. She's very, very cute. Free with a $300 order. Now, maybe you're saying, Erica, I can't put in a $300 order. I totally get it but get some of your friends together, get gather some other orders from your friends and, and remind them that every $50 they spend, they get something free, gather it all together and enter it all together or send it to me and I'll enter it. And if all of your orders together are $300, then you get that stamp set for free. That's kind of like a catalog party. If you've ever done a catalog party for, you know, Pampered Chef or whatever, everybody passes around the catalog, writes out their order and then sends them on. That's same thing. And we can totally do that to get you this awesome stamp set. And it's free when your order gets to $300, okay? So if you're interested in that, getting some of your friends together, let me know. And I don't mean you know, like Friday night at your house. I mean, just getting their orders together from work, from school, whatever, gathering them together and putting them all in at the same time, okay? It's easy, it takes very little time and you get a free stamp set. Okay, so there are the catalogs. If you do not have a catalog, I sent everyone who had spent over $50 with me in the last six months, I sent everyone both of these catalogs. If you did not get them, that's because they go media mail and the United States Postal Service 
is unreliable. That's all I'm going to say about that. If you need them, just let me know and I would be happy to send them to you, okay? Email me, you guys. Facebook Messenger is weird and I don't see those messages until like days later. So email me, please. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's talk about something that ends today. This is my paper share. Uh, paper share is where I buy all the new paper, the designer series paper, and I split it up between either four people or eight people. And if it's a four people share, you get all the paper cut in half. You get half of each sheet, okay? Um, and then this this is the one pack in the catalog that's six by six. So this, you'll just get one sheet of each of that. Um, but it's a bunch of paper. You also, if you get this and the ribbon, which is one yard of all the new ribbons, then I am also going to include the celebration, both celebration papers in there for you, okay? So you can get, oh, there goes my... <laughs> my mat. I got to figure out something to do with that. But slid down on the floor. So if you get both of those, you get the celebration paper for free. You could also get just six by six and ribbon and you'll still get a six by six share of that celebration paper in there. Okay. Um, here are the details. Today's the last day to sign up for this. Um, the six by six paper is 27 shipped. Six by 12 is 38 shipped. Ribbon is 12 shipped. We combine them, six by six and ribbon is 35 shipped, six by 12 and ribbon, 46 shipped, okay? Make sure you sign up. I will close it first thing tomorrow morning when I get up, okay? About eight, nine o'clock in the morning, um, and then it'll be done. Here is the link right here. You can type this in, you can click on it, you can email me, request it from me, and I'll send you that. You register, you can pay credit card or PayPal, okay? Okay, so there's that yesterday. <coughs> we did a all-star tutorial blog hop, but you might not have seen it because I had two other blog posts that went up. Um, oh, look, all of that. I was looking for those <laughs> wish lists. <laughs> look, guys, if you need a wish list, there they are, and I will link it. I'm sending those out in the mail. Um, <laughs> I thought that felt really thick. This is the this month's all-star tutorial bundle. You get it free with a $50 online order. I send them out about once a week via email. It's also, also available in my um, PDF store, okay? And here is my project this month. It's a really cute box with that gorgeous um, Eiffel Tower on it. And this is the last month for the six month round. I'm gonna start taking signups for the subscription that will start in February, but more details on that will come out later. Now you probably saw my two classes yesterday. Here is the Peaceful Poppies class. Um, it's a little bit confusing because there are two stamp sets in the Poppies suite of stuff. Um, this class uses the, the sentiment, whoops, I just pulled some of those, those um, dies off there. It uses the Peaceful Moment stamp set and this, um, these dies, okay? And you're gonna make seven projects. There's two 3D five cards. Um, in your class kit, you will get this. This is called the Elements Kit. I, is that right? Peaceful Poppies Elements. There's um, pre-printed, there's watercolor, there's black, and there's vellum. And we use them a ton on our projects. You're also going to get a bolt of this awesome Whisper White Crinkle Seam Binding. Um, you can get the kit, the class to go kit. It, they come delivered right to your mailbox. And you can get them with the bundle or without the bundle. If you buy it with a bundle, you get this for free. Um, that's not included in the price, but you get it. Um, you get all seven kits, all seven um, make and take kits plus a PDF. Then if you want this other stamp set that coordinates with it, it's not required for the projects, but if you want it, you can add it on at a discount. I will pay the shipping and tax on it, as well as aqua painters, which you'll need, and um, the Poppy Parade stamp and blends. So that is that. And again, over on my blog today, you'll find the PDF. There's the link right there, okay? Deadline on that is not till the 24th. The other class that I love, and there has been some confusion with this class. When I made the video, um, I kept messing the video up and having to cut and slice and all that, but I left out that there is a PDF option. <laughs> Yes, I always have a PDF option. Scroll to the bottom of the post and you'll find it. Um, but this is my Valentine Treats class. Six treats featuring the heartfelt stamp set with the two punches. These punches are big punches. So I decided instead of ordering them and mailing them to you like this with your projects, that it's con this class is a free with an order. So Stampin' Up, you're going to order from Stampin' Up and they're going to mail you the stuff. And then I'm going to send you all this for free. Um, 
So it's if you ordered my snowman season class in September, it's the same thing. You're just going to put on put in the online order yourself using the host code and go to the post so you can see exactly what you need and the host code that you'll use. Um, you order the bundle and the where are they the little embellishments and then you the class is completely free i'm going to ship it to you for free all six project make and take kits are coming to you for free and i'm sending you a bolt of ribbon for free um so there's just one option for this class free with that order now if you already have this don't worry, you don't have to order it. You can order anything you want as long as it's $51.75, equal to the amount of this. That's gonna get you this for free. Um, and you're gonna get a free celebration item. I forgot to mention that over there too, celebration. You'll get um, a celebration item with a Poppy's per Poppy Parade class to go to. So here's this class, it's a little confusing. That one, you the poppies you register for. Da, 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 I do everything and I ship everything to you. This one, you order the products using the host code. And the third week of February, I cut them, ship them, and you will get them um, by the end end of January. I will have them in the mail by the twenty. What did I say? The twenty fourth. So you'll have them in plenty of time for Valentine's. So that post right here, if you'll type in that link or click on the link at the bottom of today's um, blog post, you'll find it. It's there. And you'll see, hopefully it makes more sense than how I'm trying to explain it right now. Um, it's my favorite class, Valentine's Treats, I think is hands down my favorite. And it's always my most popular class. I usually sell the most kits for that class all year. So make sure you jump on it. I think you'll love it. If you like 3D treats, you'll love it. Um, okay, now before we move on, I'm almost there guys. We've got prizes and this one other thing and then we're gonna move on. The starter kit, let's talk about the starter kit. You guys know um, the starter kit is a fantastic deal any time of the year because you're getting $25 free in product. But during celebration, this is the last page of the celebration catalog if you wanna look at it. During celebration, you're getting even more for free. So it's $99 in free shipping. So you're gonna add tax to that and that is your final price, okay? $99 plus whatever your tax is. Then, you're gonna pick $125 in products. So I've kind of put together a sample kit for you to see. Um, $125, let's take all this out because we're gonna add that in. $125, let's say the Dress to Impress um, stamp set, you love that suite. So you get that and the dies, you get the paper. I always tell everybody, add on Whisper White Cardstock because it can't be beat, it makes your stamps stamp way better. So you add on a pack of that, maybe three sets of blends and a memento and a new punch, I love this new punch, and the rhinestones. And you've hit, you're right at $125. Still, it's just $99 free shipping. All right, so that's normally what you would get. But during celebration, you get this little mini trimmer. I've shown it to you guys. It's super cute. I call it the baby trimmer. And I have been using it every day. I keep it right next to me on my desk. It fits in my drawer. It's for little things. Um, obviously, you can't, you're not going to cut big scrapbook giant pieces or big card bases, um, although you could. Um, what it really is designed for is smaller pieces. And I use it to trim pieces that are crooked or cut um, small pieces for sentiments. Um, but anyway, that is free in the starter kit. That's the only way to get it, it's free. Then you also are gonna get a sampler, a DSP sampler of new paper, okay? So you'll get that and that in here also to go with all that. And then you get to pick out, let me show you, it's, I love the way they have it photographed. Um, right here, your choice. You get a stamp set of your choice from either the annual or the um, spring catalog or Clarence Rack, I guess. But if I were you guys, that would I would find the most expensive stamp set on my wish list. I mean, come on, it's free, right? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down our wish list and find out what stamp set do I want that is the most expensive. And you're gonna add that in. And you're still at $99. So I would suggest special celebrations. Every time I use the stamp set, people say, what stamp set is that? It's a great one. It's big, it's like, I don't know, $36, so it's pricey. So you can add that in for free. So all of that would be yours for $99. Then, you would get a 20% discount on all of your orders from then until the end of your first quarter, which would be June 30th, okay? Now, here's the thing that people ask me all the time. Do I have to make videos? Do I have to have parties? Do I have to recruit? Do I have to whatever? No, you don't have to do any of that. When you 
buy the starter kit. It is whatever you want it to be. I like to think of it as a preferred customer. You know, if you shop somewhere a lot, sometimes you get a card where you get a special discount on certain days. Well, that's kind of what this is. If you shop Stamping Up a lot, you buy that starter kit, and then you just enjoy that 20% discount on all of your goodies, okay? Then, of course, you could get orders from friends, or you could hold classes if you want. And if you join under me, if you buy the starter kit under me, I have loads of training. We do um, different trainings all the time um, on those things if you're interested. Um, let's see, Lisa asked a question. Does it matter how many times we've joined and gone inactive before? No, Lisa, as long as it's been 90 days since you dropped with someone else, you can buy the starter kit. If you were under me and you dropped, you can actually buy the starter kit the next day. Um, so it doesn't matter. So, um, just to let you know, that is what I would recommend. I see someone asked about my, um, my guard. Is that, is that what you guys are asking about, Debbie? Uh, someone asked about the guard that's here. Yeah, I ripped that baby right off immediately. <laughs> For safety, you should keep yours on, okay? But I like to live dangerously, but I took it off. It does have a guard. I just took it off. Um, okay, starter kit. If you're interested and you have questions, um, please feel free to ask me. There is never pressure from me to do anything with a starter kit ever. Um, you also get my PDFs, all of them for free. You get my class kits at a significant discount um, if you're on my team. So just letting you guys know, I want you to know um, what is available to you. Even if you have an order right now that's $150, it would um, behoove you to buy, buy it as a starter kit because then you're getting at least $25 in free product and all that jazz. So let me know if you have questions. If you're ready, type that in and that will take you to my starter kit page where everything is written out and you can then click on the link if you're ready to buy the starter kit. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I've talked for 30 minutes. Good thing I don't have to pick kids up today. We have some winners. This, these two ladies, Sherry Bedwell and Deborah Ramos are the winners from two weeks ago, Facebook Friday, they shared the video and I chose them at random. And Deborah, I have your address. Sherry, do I have your address? I'm not sure. Message me, okay? So I don't have to go digging around looking for it um, and I can get it out to you faster. Then I did another quick Facebook Friday that next week and I said, oh look, I have some stuff to give away if you share the video. And Tracy Horton, I have your address for sure. And Brandy Randall, I don't know if I have yours, Brandy. Message me just so that it's faster, okay? Congratulations, ladies. Here's some retired um, stamps and dies that have never even been opened. I hope that you will give them um, a good home and get put them to use next Christmas, all right? So congratulations to all of you. <coughs> this week, I don't have anything new from the spring catalog yet to give you um, because we were very limited in what we could order. We can order, only order one of each and I, was able to work around it, but I gave all those prizes away at bingo. But I do have two really good things. Genuine Gems is from the annual catalog, and I have some of these holiday rhinestones, which are going to be used all year long because they're carrying over. Yay. Um, so all you have to do to win these is to share. Share the video on Facebook. Are we ready to stamp? I think finally. Oh my gosh. I've never talked so long in my life. I told you guys I had a ton of stuff to tell you and to show you and that's not even all of it. I have so much stuff to share with you, but I'm not going to stand and talk to you, talk your ear off all day. All right. Now let's see. Let me find my projects. Where did they go? All right. Let's start here. I have to tell you, this is really funny because this lovely lily pad, which I keep calling Lily Pad Lake, which is another <laughs> bundle in the annual catalog. Um, at first, I, I loved the paper immediately, but I was not sure about the stamp set and dies. But let me just tell you guys that I am sure about them now, and they are awesome. I'm designing some stuff for my team right now with these. Look at this paper. Um, it looks like a painting, like a palette knife. Somebody, somebody painted that at some point. And then on the other side, more paint, just texture. Um, so it, you know, it's very Monet-ish, Monet-esque, um, and it is gorgeous, and I love it. I actually have made a bunch of um, cards to welcome new Stampeders during um, celebration with this, and I can't pick a favorite. Well, no, I guess this, mm, maybe this is my favorite because it has Melon Mambo, and I love Melon Mambo, and we don't get to use it very much. It's never in any of our papers, um, but I do like this one too. So anyway, gorgeous paper, free with a $50 purchase. 
Um, it can be one of your choices. And then again, of course, this is a free with $50 purchase, and this is a free with a $100 purchase, okay? This stamp set is really interesting too. It has that double-sided. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that too, okay? Okay, let me get out everything. We're gonna use Blackberry Bliss and Shaded Spruce. There's a lot of color in this paper. Um, and again, you can look in the catalog and it'll give you a little swatch of, of the colors. Actually, does it not show us here? Hmm, I guess it doesn't in the Celebration catalog because they didn't have enough room. But look at all those colors. There's tons of colors listed there. So you could really kind of change the look of the whole card um, just by, you know, using different cardstock, different ink. Okay, let's see, how do I wanna do this first? Let's make the card base first. This is Petal Pink. Did I even get my adhesive out? Yeah, okay. This is Petal Pink. It's just a half sheet of cardstock. I folded it, I mean, I scored it at five and a half, and then I cut it in half on this side at four and a fourth. That's a, a basic card base. Then I have cut a three by five and a half piece of DSP. Oh, don't tell me. I have several Fast Fuse. You know, if you haven't been around very long, Fast Fuse, there's a Fast Fuse Saga, and I won't go into it, but I'm down to my last Fast Fuse. Adhesives are not available anymore, and they're all just like unraveling and being terrible, but we won't talk about it. <laughs> okay, so I have cut a Blackberry Bliss stitched scallop border. That's from the Be Mine um, dies, the ones that have the hearts in the annual catalog. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna put this down right here. Okay, now let's do some die cutting, okay? Where did I put the big shot? Here it is. I've got several different pieces of things. Actually, we're gonna, yeah, we'll do this part first. We're gonna die cut something for the inside too, but we'll do that after we finish the front. Do I have another camera? Why does it look different? Broadcasting is a bit blocky. Interesting. No, that wouldn't be the camera. That would be the internet. The internet. The bane of my existence. Yeah. Okay. I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss that we're going to. Where did I put the dies? I'm going to put this long, skinny one right there. And then on the pink, the petal pink piece, I'm gonna put that there. And then this one, this big kind of weird open one is gonna be vellum. And then this smaller one is um, shaded spruce. And you can get them all on there. Looks good to you, Catherine. Yeah, who knows? I can see on my iPad um, what she's talking about. It's a little just kind of rough not real smooth. Um, the good thing is, is that when I'm done, when I upload it, it typically will fix all of that. Um, you know, so hopefully if you need to come back later and watch it, um, you can do that if the broadcast is not smooth. Unfortunately, once you get started, there's not really anything you can do to fix that. Okay, now, um, I want to show you, we're going to use these twice today. These are the sweetly stitched, what are they called? Frames, sweetly stitched, hmm, frames, dies. And this is the one we're using right here. I, this, hands down, is my favorite thing in the whole catalog, these new dies. I can't stop using all of them. They're fantastic. So I have cut the big scallopy one. Uh-oh, you know what? I need a piece of scratch paper. Let's just use this right here. And I've cut it in white. And I'm gonna take my Blackberry Bliss stamp and blend, and I'm just gonna flick it on the lid a little bit so that I have a little, little freckling of color, okay? Now this one, let's get all the little doodads out. It comes out very easily, as you can see. And I'm gonna cut it off so that I have just four of them. Now, I didn't mention today that if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, you'll see today's post, Facebook Friday. And um, all three projects, there's a PDF that goes with all three projects, and it has all of the products that I'm using and any measurements that you'll need. So you can save it, you can print it, you can do whatever you want so that you can remember the projects. Um, and then, actually, let's hold off on that because what we need to do first right here is glue this down. Um, 
what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Well, I'm going to come back to that because I want to talk to you about this. This is a funky shape, right? And it's designed to go here on this one. Um, however, I'm going to make it, right? I'm going to tell it to do something different. Um, and you can, oh, my fine tip glue is, hasn't been opened in a couple of weeks. Oh no. Okay. Let's do it like this. Um, I'm going to just use my fine tip glue. It's not going to line up perfectly is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let's do a couple more up here like this, but on one side up here, you'll see where it does line up really well. Okay. So just like that, see how we've got that, all that extra stuff down there. Now I'm going to set something on there. Let me get the block set that block on there give it a few seconds to dry um let's do let's do some more stamping while we wait for that to dry now i'm going to take i'm going to show you how this uh, stamp is designed these stamps you can stamp on the front side of them or the back side of them so first i'm going to stamp with the lines all right just like that now i got to get my chamois and we will clean it because then you can turn it over and use the back side as the solid. The only thing you need to remember here though is to stamp off first because it would be very dark and then stamp like that, okay? Then I'm gonna grab my Wink of Stella and I'm gonna color in. Now I think what I did actually on the sample, I don't think I even did the solid stamp, I think, and I wanna show you guys this trick too, because this will give you a lighter flower. Stamp the lines, and then take your Wink of Stella and color it in, and it uses, it um, acts kind of like an aqua painter. I forgot, this is what I did. I didn't use that that solid part of it. I'm gonna do that on the inside. All right, so color that in like that. Now don't worry about your Wink of Stella, just run it dry, and then it's clean, okay? So for the Whisper White piece, that's going to go on the inside. Oh, I'm working myself into a very small square here, haven't I? All right, let's do this part. Whoa, we don't need a purple. <laughs> we don't need a purple lily pad. We need a shaded spruce lily pad. Can you guys see? Am I out of the frame? Let me move up. There we go. All right, right there. I'm going to stamp that. I'm going to clean it, turn it over, do that solid part again, and then stamp off and stamp in. Okay, I'm going to do a few of that. Oh my gosh, my fine tip glue pen. Ooh, I won't tell you, but it was dripping. All right, now a few flicks <laughs> right there. Then here's this stamp that I love. I pointed this out to you when we were looking through the um, catalog. Let me find it. It's called Seriously the Best. I love these scripty fonts. I love a big font. When you can use a big font um, that can kind of be the focal point, I love that. All right, so thanks. And we're gonna do that up here, okay. Now, I'm sure this is dry, so we're gonna put this aside now. Remember, that's gonna go, actually, why don't, since we have it here, why don't we adhere it down? I'm so afraid I'm gonna set, set something down in that ink. Blackberry Bliss is one of those that's like, oh, very over everything. All right, so there's the inside. Okay, I'm kind of working out of, out of order because I needed to get that dry. Let's move this ugly piece out. All right, now you could leave that, and if you look at the samples in the catalog, they did leave it, but I'm gonna cut it off. I'm just gonna go around the outside of that die like that, okay? Then I'm gonna get, a, mm, did I use a dimensional on this? Can I hide a dimensional under here? Mm, I think we need a mini, no, well, we'll just do it. Just go for it, we'll cover it, no problem. All right, there we go, I think I, use the dimensional underneath the purple the first time. That's okay. All right, here we go. Now we've got this piece right here. That's the little stem. And then we've got 
Blackberry Bliss Twine. This is the Nature's Twine. If you remember in the catalog last year, we had the Nature's Poem Suite. This is from there. It's still available. The other, the other Nature's Poem stuff is not available, but oops, right here. Hello, right in front of me. But the twine is, and it's a four pack, four different colors that I use it all the time. They're really good choices. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. I'm kind of ignoring y'all's comments because I'll get distracted. I'm glancing, I'm glancing. Hi, Laura, first project. I did a lot of talking at the beginning, so you're all right. You haven't missed much. You can go back and watch the chatting about all the new stuff later if you want. All right, there we go. I put that on with dimensionals. Isn't that beautiful? Stunning, right? Okay, but wait, something is missing. Erica, close the ink pads before you ruin it. Just do it. All right, let's go back over here to remember when we did this while we were waiting for that to dry. Let's get the dies. Let's get out of our six inch square here. Let's make some more room. And we're gonna pull out that little die. Bring the big shot back over. This is making me crazy, my fine tip. I've gotta close it, but it's so hard to close like this. Can I get it? I need a, this one's on its last leg and the lid dried closed, but it's driving me crazy to see it just sitting there. So sorry, sorry guys. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now I think I'm gonna do the lighter one. I do like the lighter one. Blackberry Bliss is such a dark color. Even when you stamp off, it's still dark. And the Stampin' Blends Blackberry Bliss is very dark. Even the light shade. It's just a dark color. Okay, so we've done that little cute little flower. And we're gonna take this guy, move him out of the way, and I'm gonna pop him up on the inside. Sarah, you like these colors? Yeah. There we go. Ta-da. Isn't that beautiful? You know, I really was trying to get the sentiment on the front. And finally I was like, why are you trying so hard to get the sentiment on the front? I couldn't get it to work. I thought, let's do something on the inside. And I love it. So sometimes, just remember that sentiment doesn't have to be front and center. It can be on the inside or it could be sentimentless. It's okay to be sentimentless. What do you guys think? Lily pad, lovely lily pad is what this is called. The paper, the dies, and the stamp set are all part of celebration and are items that you can get free during January, February, and March. Awesome. Okay, let's move on to the second project, the mirror cats. The gang's all mirror, so stinking cute. Now, I played around with this, and again, I'm using these dies. This time I'm using this um, scalloped stitched rectangle. Last time I used this one, they come together in one set. Um, and I'm using a stitched rectangle. That's from the stitched rectangle dies, okay? Um, now let's look at the images. And I've seen some things online um, where people were creating scenes and I wanted to do that. But I wanted, once I started working on it, I felt like it was disjointed. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of connected it all so that it all looks like it's in um, one scene. I'm gonna use this guy this guy and the cactus, okay? Did I not, oh good grief, I didn't even pull the blocks. Pulled everything else, let me just grab three blocks. And this, this is red rubber as you can see. Let's see, we're gonna use that one there instead of photopolymer. Um, we're gonna use Memento Black because we're using our Stampin' Blends. We gotta use, um, Memento when you're using Stampin' Up or Stampin' Blends because Memento is water-based and um, you know what I want to do him last and the markers are alcohol-based so we've got you can't mix alcohol and alcohol or water and water you've got to use one or the other all right so we're going to kind of connect him I'm trying to get that line equal but when I stamped this guy, he doesn't have a line, right? No line. So I'm gonna go back in a little while with my basic black stamp and write marker and we're gonna join them together and add a few dots to make it all look like it goes together. See how he's like floating in space? 
I didn't like that. <laughs> so I fixed it. All right. These guys are easy to color. I just used um, light crumb cake all over. Okay, then I took my dark and kind of gave him some shadow on one side. All right, then I took my, um, what do you call this, color lifter and just removed a little bit of color here at the top because the sun would be shining from this way if the shadow's on that side and that would be really light there. All right, so add a little bit of color. Let me pull it up closer so you guys can see. And then we're gonna do the same over here and we'll put the shadow on the same side because the sun would be shining from the same direction. So just decide wherever the sun is or the light source and make sure everything has a shadow on the same side, okay? So now to, I'm gonna take my dark and go around all around this side underneath where his little arms go over and right here there's a shadow too wherever anything crosses over something else there's going to be a shadow all right blend all that in and do a little bit of the color lifter right there now let's leave this out we're gonna we're gonna use the light to kind of color in all of the the dirt or sand depending on where your meerkats live, I'm not sure. <laughs> and come over here like this, color it all in, and just kind of make it, I like it to go to kind of a point there at the end like that. And you don't want a straight line, just kind of a, you know, just kind of a wonky line down here at the bottom. Get your dark and go under wherever these three things are, because there's gonna be a shadow under them. Then, Take your stamp and write marker and just follow on that line like we had over here, okay? You can even add just a little bit more and then just add in those little specks of dirt. And there now, they're continued. See that? He's not floating anymore. And I think I might take that one a lo little bit longer too. All right, they're up on a hill. A little, little hill looks like. <laughs> okay, now for our cacti, cactus, South Africa, Lisa, is that the only place that they live? This is um, light, granny apple green, and I'm just going to do a whole wash in it. I don't know anything about meerkats other than they're cute. Now I'm going to take, remember that light source, we want a heavy shadow on this side and down here, but then I'm also going to do a little bit of shadow on those lines too because that's there's an indent there on that cactus where that would have a shadow okay and last but not least I'm gonna use lovely lipstick did I yep nope we gotta use light first lovely lipstick because there is no melon mambo stamp and blend but lovely lipstick is very similar and then just take your dark and go wherever those little lines are. And there you have it. How cute, right? It's so cute. All right, now the sentiment, we're here for you. I'm gonna do it right over this guy's head. Let's see, I'm gonna have to pull it down so I can see. There we go, we're here for you. I like the other one, I couldn't get it to fit. Um, happy birthday to a stand-up friend, because he's standing up, but I couldn't get it to fit there. So we use this one. I'd have to make the rectangle bigger if I wanted to use that one. All right, so I've already cut the um, Melon Mambo Scallop Stitched Rectangle, and I have taken my Granny Apple Green Ribbon. Can you see what I've done here? I've cut it in half, long ways, can you see? And I'm gonna use the other half for this card. I like doing this, actually no, I'm not tying a bow, I'm tying it around here. I like doing this because well, for one, it's less bulky and it's thin, but I also like all these, these um, fibers that kind of poke out and get kind of messy. I like the way that looks. So you just cut it lengthwise while it's on the bolt until you get to what you think you can tie a bow with, and then just cut it off and leave the other half there. Isn't that fun? It's messy and I like it. 
All right, I'm gonna move that up a little bit. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Laurie, none in Arizona, huh? No meerkats? I know nothing. The only thing I know about meerkats, weren't they on that um, Madagascar movie? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen that too. All right, a couple of dimensionals. And I'm gonna have this kind of offset like this. All right, there we go. Now, I've got a soft suede card base and a smaller piece of soft suede card stock that measures four by five and a fourth. It's a little bit smaller than our um, card base. And this is a 3D embossing folder. So you need this new plate. Um, I have tried to get other things to work instead of using the plate and mm, I got some things to work kind of, but it just makes such a better impression if you go ahead and use the, buy the plate that goes with it or the new plate um, that Stampin' Up! designed for their new um, embossing folders, or 3D embossing folders. They have to use the, you can't use your magnetic platform. You've gotta use your regular platform. And then I'm gonna put this um, soft suede piece in like that. And did you guys know it has this little line right here where you can line it up to make sure it's straight? I think that's brilliant. All right, run it through. This is the, 3D stone embossing folder that I showed you in the celebration catalog <coughs> that comes with that other stamp set. It comes as a bundle. So in order to get it, you would have to get both. But look at it, isn't it awesome? This is, you know, I don't use embossing folders that much, but this one I love. I like embossing folders that look like natural occurring, you know, um, I don't know, I, I like the stone, I like the wood, I like the one that looks like water. I love the subtle one too, that's a good one. All right, so let's put that there with four dimensionals because you know, you can never have enough dimensionals. All right. Did that with a black lace. Oh, you did it with a black lace one at Halloween, Lisa. Very cool. Did you cut it long ways? All right, there we go. Boom, done. We're here for you. And you know what you could do? Just like we did with the other card, you could do a white piece in here and then stamp this little guy again, like right in the corner. Wouldn't that be cute? So cute. So two more options for celebration. Remember, you've got three months, guys, to get all of these celebration items you want. If you need to spread it out over over the time to get everything, I get it. We all have budgets. We may or may not stick to them. <laughs> but it's, you know, a good thing to make out your list and kind of prioritize the things that you want. Um, I would prioritize tools over stamp sets because they're not gonna run out of stamp sets. And I'm not saying they're gonna run out of tools, but they've been known to happen in the past, like dyes and stuff. Who knows, I have, I have no idea. I have no inside information, but I would grab the framelits and the paper first, <laughs> just in case. You never know. And I, I, again, that's totally me speculating, but anyways, all right, project number two. What do you guys think? You like the little cats, the little mirror cats? They're very cute. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Look, I'm not gonna do it now, but what I did is I went around him with pool party to make him pop off a little bit more. I forgot to do that. Let me grab it, okay. I totally forgot. I love doing that. You just take your light pool party and go around them like this. And it, it just gives kind of a, I don't know, they pop off a lot from the, from the cardstock. And you can even color the whole thing in blue and it would be beautiful but we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> so you just go around, it's very light. You can also do that with the light smoky slate, but I like the pool party the best. Okay, I'm glad you guys like it. Wow, in five minutes till three, I still have one more project, so I'm not gonna be too late today. Okay, let's do the last one. The last one's gonna take us like five minutes. It's super simple. Like I showed you, I have the six Valentine projects that I designed. I also have two other Valentine things that I used for a training. And then this one, and I decided to use this one for Facebook Friday instead of the class. It's very simple. These are the 
Squ uh, Ghirardelli squares, strawberry bark, but I think any of the Ghirardellis would fit fine. I just like, look how the, the little paper resembles, resembles the paper here. And it just slides out. These would be super fast and easy little treats. Like I always, you guys know, I always think of the teachers. Um, if you um, were going to make things to put in all the teacher's mailboxes, that would be cute um, and easy and fast. Okay, so let's make this real quick. I'm gonna show you first how to make the holder. Um, where did I put my Simply Scored? Oh yeah, down here. This piece is five and a half by three. Whoopsie. I had it sitting in my recycle bin, so it has all kinds of paper on it. And remember, over at pinkbuckaroo.com, under the last photo, you'll find this link for this. And here's the measurements right here. Okay, these are the measurements that you'll need. So this is five and a half by three, and you're gonna score it at two and a half and three on the long side, and then half an inch and two and a half inches right there. Okay, easy peasy, not difficult. Burnish all your lines. All right, and I'm gonna snip right here and right here, and snip and snip. Then get your tear and tape or your Tombow or your fast views if you have any left. <laughs> and put adhesive. Actually, let's see. Fold those up like that. I put adhesive on the outside of the little tab. So we'll squeeze those in like that. All right. And then this is just going to fold over like that. All right. There we go, just like that. All right, now I don't have any more of these, so we're just gonna pull these out. What I did is I took two of them and I tied the ribbon around it and it just slides right in like that, okay? Now, let's cut the paper. This time I'm gonna use this tiny little piece, I mean this shiny little piece, <laughs> it is tiny too, um, a shiny piece of the designer series paper. You could use any, but I think I wanna, well, I don't know. I kinda like that, with those hearts, but I want it to look different. Okay, we're gonna do this. This is, this measures two by two and a half. So we're just gonna cut it one and seven eighths on our little baby trimmer by two and three eighths, all right? And we're just gonna adhere that right there like this. And we're gonna grab the sentiment that says, violets, no, what does it say? Roses are red, violets are blue. And then it has a comma, because there's another sentiment that goes with it that says something about friends like you. But I just wanna leave it at this. So I'm gonna take my uh, blender pen and I'm gonna wipe off that ink right there. See how I'm wiping it on my hand? You should do that on your scrap paper, not your hand. But just wash it off with your blender pen, okay? And it removes it. This is a little stitched label from the stitched label dies. Roses are red, violets are blue. Let's grab the designer series paper. I wish I could rhyme. Oh, I gotta grab my punches out of that basket. Where did I put it? Way over here. We're gonna need both of these. I'm using the stamp set. I didn't even pull it out, it's called Heartfelt. This is the one that we're using for the Valentine's class. And then this is the designer series paper and the punch matches several stamps on here, but in a, the brilliant fashion, Stampin' Up also made two different patterns of paper that will match the punch. Look, ta-da! Now, I saw something else online yesterday and I've gotta give it a try. This is the Dog Builder Punch and it fits that little heart right there. Somebody posted, look. So I'm gonna punch that out, we're gonna use that too. It's not 100% exactly the same, but it's close enough. All right, now let's stamp this giant lacy doily heart. We're gonna do this in real red. Oh, this is a scrap piece of paper, look, from Christmas. And I have a whole drawer of, I can tell that's not gonna stamp well. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I have a whole drawer of Whisper White scraps. I, I cannot, I can throw away other scraps, but Whisper White, I cannot throw away Whisper White scraps. So this is the scalloped heart. So these two come in a bundle. They're called the heart punch pack, I believe. 
and they're big, big punches. Ooh, look, can you see me? <laughs> That's super weird, Erica. All right, <laughs> let's put the dimensionals on here. Really, we're just using the scallop part of this heart, so it doesn't matter how it's stamped. But it did stamp fine. You could also, there's another pattern of DSP in this pack that has a scallop heart that you could use too. All right, then we're gonna take this little stitched label. They are the regular size Ghirardelli, that's right. Regular size Ghirardelli. And that's right there with dimensionals. See, here they are again. Can you see them? I'll take that off. I have a link to Amazon so you can see which ones they are. You know, it's. let me just tell you how funny it is to buy um, Valentine candy December 26th and December 23rd. You can find it, but people look at you like, what the heck, lady? Why are you buying Valentine's candy? And then I have to explain, I design projects. And we're gonna put that up so it's sticking up a little bit, okay? And there we have it. Now, this little heart here that we punched, we could put it, where could we put it? Like right there? Oh, that would be cute. Okay, let me see. Where are my mini dimensionals? Hmm, do I have any in here? Yep, here we go. Mini dimensionals. And, oh, come on. Oh, I didn't even put it on well. All right, well, whatever. There we go. That's so cute. Easy, right? A few punches, easy stamping, easy. And there's an easy Valentine treat for you guys. What do you think? So fun, I love Valentine's treats so much. I don't know why, I guess because I'm so happy Christmas is over. <laughs> I'm ready to move on. All right, you guys, thank you so much for the hearts, y'all are sweet. So here are the three things we made today. After the video, I'm gonna go back and update the description so that it has the link directly to my blog, as well as the links to my classes, the links to the starter kit. Um, what other links did we need? Um, product shares. All of that will be there in about 10 minutes when I update it, okay? Now you guys remember, I will send you these make and takes. Did I ever finish saying that? I will send you all three of these make and takes for free. Look, and I didn't even put my sign up today, but I did have it. I knew it looked kind of weird here. I just, so much to tell you. I can't remember it all. Um, if you put in a minimum $35, $35 order by Monday at midnight and you use this host code, it's also right here on today's PDF, I will send you the three make and take kits for free so you can make them yourself. Um, but you have to use the host code unless your order is over $150, then you don't need to use the host code because you're going to get stamp and rewards. Um, I was going to show you that. If your order is over $150, look in the catalog right here and you start earning 10%. So if you spend $150, you'd get $15 in free stuff. And that's when you can get the host set, okay? Um, so <coughs> if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. I will still send you these for free as a thank you. But if your code, if you, my goodness, um, I ta I'm tapped out on words today. If your order is less than $150, use the host code and I'll send you these for free. Okay, you guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and um, let me know if you have questions. Bye, guys.